My name is Matthew Chung, and I'm one of the structural and interventional cardiologists here at Virginia Cardiovascular Specialists. And in this video today, I'd like to discuss mitral clip or transcatheter mitral valve repair to treat severe mitral regurgitation. Mitral regurgitation can be identified in a number of ways. Sometimes it's when a patient's doctor hears a murmur and then they obtain an echo which demonstrates that they have a leaky mitral valve. But oftentimes it becomes noticed because of symptoms. And so the symptoms of mitral regurgitation are very similar actually to the symptoms of aortic stenosis. And so these would include things like fatigue, um, problems breathing or shortness of breath. And also patients can develop uh, symptoms of heart failure. Mitral regurgitation can happen for a number of reasons. And we kind of put it into two different categories. One is when the mitral valve itself degenerates. Um, over time, as it opens and closes with each heartbeat, the valve itself can become thickened and the support structures of the valve can degenerate and the valve itself can become abnormal. And when that happens, you can have a leaky mitral valve. More recently, studies looking at patients that have a normal valve, but the heart itself is weakened to the point where it can no longer support adequate closure of the mitral valve. And this is a group of patients with what we call functional or secondary mitral regurgitation. We do this procedure under general anesthesia. Once the patient is asleep, we put a catheter into the vein in their groin, and then this is how we deliver the device to the mitral valve. When this becomes severe and a patient is symptomatic, we can use the mitral clip to repair that valve. So mitral clip is a catheter-based technology that allows us to repair the mitral valve in patients that have a leaky mitral valve without having to do the traditional route of open chest or open heart surgery. Basically, a glorified clothespin that we place on the mitral valve to help bring the leaflets together. The procedure itself typically takes an hour to maybe two hours, depending on the complexity of the mitral valve disease. And then the patient is monitored in the hospital, typically one night, and the next day if they're feeling well and things look good at the access site and on an echocardiogram, then they'll go home the very next day. And so after these procedures, patients can really go back to doing whatever they'd like. In a week's time, if they want to go for a walk, if they want to go to the gym and exercise, they can really do these things um, and enjoy them.